all the mothers out there, we wish you a happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day! I want to wish all the mothers at Christ Central a happy Mother's Day. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! Christ Central Mothers. Happy New Year! <laughs> happy Mother's Day! Thank you for bringing us into this world. We, we love you! To all of our CCSC mothers, happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! Happy Mother's Day to all our CCSC moms. I know you have a lot on your plates right now, especially during this time, but we love and appreciate you so much. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mama. Thank you, Micah. Did you all see what happened? I was carrying a lot of things and then I dropped a box of crayons and made a mess, but Micah came and helped me. Can you guys remember a time when you helped someone do something this week? Or when someone helped you? It could be that your dad helped you clean up your toys, or you helped your brother or sister put on their shoes. Please take this time to share with your family.
your arms spread wide Take me in like an orphan child Never let go, never leave my side Hi, Christ Central families. I hope you're all doing well. Good morning, Christ Central families. This is David Song. I'm one of the deacons here at Christ Central. Today we will be reading from Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 34. This is a reading of God's word. And they went to the Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and, and he, he cried out. What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him, and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. And immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons. And the whole city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. We miss you, CCSC family. I know it's been tough not seeing your friends, going to Sunday school, coming to church, eating donuts, uh, hugging your teachers. Christ Central, I hope you guys are enjoying your worship at home, and I hope to see you guys soon. Miss going to church with everyone so much. I hope and pray you all are safe and healthy. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye. 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 We just read that after Jesus called his disciples to follow him, he traveled with them telling people the good news about God. Now, Jesus, he was performing miracles such as healing people. They traveled to a place called Capernaum. And when they were there, they went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. 
Now, a synagogue is a place where people went to worship, like church. And Jesus went there with his disciples to teach. And the people that were listening were so amazed at what he was saying. If you have your Bibles, let's turn to Mark chapter 1, verse 22. It says, The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. They were amazed because Jesus taught with such great power. Now, when he was there teaching, there was one man in particular who had an evil spirit in him. And he started shouting at Jesus while he was teaching. And immediately Jesus, he got up and rebuked the evil spirit and the evil spirit came out of the man. Now everyone who was watching were so shocked and amazed because he had such great power to do this. And so they went out and told everybody about Jesus and what he did. Now soon after, Jesus and two of his disciples went to Simon's house because of because one of Simon's family members were really sick. She had a very high fever. Let's read verse 31. Verse 31 says, So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. So Jesus, when he got to the house, he healed the sick woman. And right after he healed her, she got up and she started to serve them. When we get sick, when we get a high fever or we have a cold, we usually eat medicine to help us feel better. But after we eat the medicine, we don't get healed right away. We don't feel better right away. It takes time for the medicine to work. But when Jesus healed this woman, right after she got up and started serving them, this is because of his power. Now, soon after that, Jesus traveled to different towns and performed many miracles and he healed many people. He came to a particular town and when he entered, a man with leprosy came and begged him to heal him. Let's read verse 40 to 41. It says, A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. So leprosy is a skin disease that's very contagious. And so back then when people, people who had leprosy, they had to be by themselves. They could not be near other people in case other people might catch it from them. But this man, he was healed right away. Right after Jesus healed him, Jesus healed him because he felt bad for him. And he healed him and the man was healed right away. All his skin disease was gone all over his face, his arms, his body. It was all gone. And the man was so thankful and so happy. But Jesus told this man, do not tell anybody what I did or what happened here. I want you to go to the priest and only tell him what happened so that they see and know that what I am doing is real. But that man did not listen and he went and told everybody what Jesus did for him. And so many people came looking for Jesus and following him because they wanted to be healed. Jesus traveled to Capernaum with his disciples Simon, Andrew, James, and John. 
he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath and began to teach. The people there were very surprised. Jesus' teaching was not like the scribes' teaching. He spoke with authority. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit shouted, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus commanded the spirit to be quiet and come out of the man. The spirit yelled again and then came out. Everyone was amazed. Who is this Jesus, they asked. He teaches with authority and the unclean spirits obey him. News about Jesus spread quickly throughout all of Galilee. Next, Jesus and his disciples went to Simon and Andrew's house. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. Jesus went to her, took her hand, and healed her. She got up and began to serve them. That evening, large crowds of people came to the house with others who were sick or bothered by evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. Early the next morning, Jesus went out by himself to pray. Simon and the other disciples found him and said, everyone is looking for you. Jesus said, let's go on to the nearby villages so I can preach there too. This is why I have come. Jesus traveled throughout Galilee. He preached and drove out demons. A man with a skin disease came to Jesus. He got on his knees and begged, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was willing and he healed the man. Jesus' miracles proved that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. They strengthened people's faith and met their needs. Through Jesus, God did what is impossible for us to do on our own. He provided forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life. Many people came to Jesus to be healed, and Jesus healed them. It didn't matter how old they were, what they looked like, what they did. Jesus healed them all. Now, can we heal ourselves? We cannot heal ourselves, right? We need Jesus. Now, I'm going to show you an illustration. I want you guys to follow along, okay? So, let's say that this represents our heart. So this is our heart. Now in our heart, we have sin. We have sin, right? Now can we get rid of sin on our own? We cannot get rid of sin on our own. Who do we need? to get rid of our sin. Whose help do we need? We need Jesus. We need Jesus, right? Only Jesus can get rid of our sin. Let's see if this works. Whoa. Only Jesus can get rid of our sins. Boys and girls, I want you to remember every day how much Jesus loves you. He loved you so much that he died on the cross for your sins so that one day we can all be in heaven with him. Let me pray for us. God, we are so thankful that you give us this time where we could worship together with family and our church. God, thank you for reminding us how much you love us and how powerful and almighty you are, Lord. There is truly no one like you. Thank you, God, for all that you do for us, for protecting us, Lord, and for loving on us and for providing for us. We pray that until we all can come together again, that you would keep us safe. 
um, and that we would continue to remember what you have done for us and continue to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Today's memory verse comes from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Today we learn that God loved his people so much that through Jesus, God did what is impossible for us to do on our own. He provided forgiveness, he provided salvation, and he provided, he gave us eternal life. So let's practice the memory verse together. Are you ready? All right, here you go. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. Good. For God. For God. So love the world. So love the world. That he gave. That he gave. His only son. His only son. That whoever. Whoever. Believes in him. Believes in him. Should not perish. Should not perish. But have eternal no. life. <laughs> yes. Let's practice one more time. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. For God. For God. So love the world. So love the world. That he gave. That he gave. His only son. His only son. That whoever. That whoever. Believes in him. Believes in him. Should not perish. But have eternal life. Amen. Amen. So let's practice this throughout the whole week and remember how much God loves you. <laughs> we miss you guys and we love you. Bye. Bye. Stay healthy. Hello. Hello. We're going to end our time of worship by reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Goodbye. Hi everyone. We have a couple of activities today to help us learn how people came to Jesus and he healed them. We have a face that we taped on the ground and we're gonna use this face to pretend it's a person who has a sickness. And so Toby over here is gonna help me out. We're, we have a couple of pieces of chalk. Here you go, which color would you like? Okay, pink and I think I'm gonna use blue. And we're gonna start drawing spots and other things on this face to show that this person is sick. Okay, now we've finished coloring in the spots that are supposed to be the illness that this person has all over his face. And Toby, what do we know? The people came to Jesus and what did he do? Healed them. He healed them. Okay, so this is the fun part. Now we're about to go get something to help this person get clean. Ready? Okay, we've got a water hose, and I need Toby's help because he's going to turn it on, and we're going to wash away all of the sickness. Okay, Toby, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. A little stronger. Stronger. And so this activity helps us to see that. Hi 
guys, we have another activity for you to show you how people came to Jesus and he healed them. This time, we have a couple of things I wanna show you. We have some sponges and these are sponges shaped like people. I cut them out oh, several years ago because we used it for a craft a couple years ago in Sunday school and I happen to have it. If you don't wanna cut your sponges, you can just use them just like this. It doesn't have to be cut out in the shape of a person at all. And then I was digging around and I found some sponges that we have that were already shaped like a teddy bear and a heart. And the reason why we have these sponges is because we're going to paint, paint them um, and then we're gonna wash them here to show how Jesus healed them. And so we have skinny paint brushes and Q-tips. If you don't have paint brushes at home, you can definitely use Q-tips for this. We have some washable paint. Please don't use something that is more permanent or doesn't wash off very easily. And even with the washable paint, work quickly so that it doesn't dry. And so let's get started. You ready? So which sponge, Toby, would you like to use today? You um, can take your pick. I'll just use this one. You want a person? Yep. Okay. And I'm gonna try using the teddy bear and the heart. And then maybe, may, why don't you take this one too? Mm -hmm. Ah, we'll just do one. Oh, I, I think I was getting crazy here. Okay, all right, so pick a brush. Okay, thanks. And so why don't you pick um, a color that you'd like and just make um, spots all over. Ready? Okay. My yellow isn't showing up too well. How about yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, you're making streaks. Okay. Okay, so I made the teddy bear with yellow spots and then I'm gonna switch brushes and try the red. Kind of scared to use the red. I wonder if it'll come out. Okay, so the red has some marks in it. Okay, I think he's good. I think we went overboard on that. Okay, so then um, why don't we set this down and then let's try washing them. I'm gonna push it aside. Okay, And let's bring this to the center. And I'll go first, okay? I'll go first because this is a lighter color and I feel like we should do that one maybe last. Okay, so we're gonna start with this yellow guy and rinse him off and let's see if we can make teddy bear better from his yellow spots. Okay, looks like teddy bear's all better. Let's squeeze out the water. Okay, this side, there's no more spots. Good job, okay. So, um, he's all better. Let's see if this heart gets clean, has red spots, ready? We're gonna squeeze it in the water and let's see what happens. Okay. All right, oh, this one's all clean too. Good to go. All right, Toby, this one's gonna need a good bath. Go ahead. The water is turning blue. From my beautiful pink. Okay. I wonder if the spots and streaks are coming out. You ready to show? Oh, looks pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, it all came out. Okay. So that is the end of our activity. And what did we learn today? The people came to Jesus and? He healed them. He healed them. Have fun at home.